This video tutorial just looks at some of the advantages and disadvantages of artificial cloning techniques in plants, specifically looking at tissue culture and micropropagation. First of all, some of the advantages. Cloning is a relatively rapid method of producing new plants compared with growing plants from seed. Cloning can be carried out where sexual reproduction is not possible. Plants that have lost their ability to produce um, sexually, for example, commercially grown bananas, can be produced through cloning. Similarly, plants that are hard to grow from seed can be reproduced, for example, orchids for the horticultural industry. The plants selected will all be genetically identical to the parent plant. They will therefore display the same desirable characteristics, such as high yield, resistance to a common pest or disease, or a particular colour of the flower. If the original plant had an unusual combination of characteristics due to selective breeding or genetic modification, then this combination can be retained without risk of losing that combination through sexual reproduction. And the new plants are all uniform in their phenotype which makes them easier to grow and harvest. However, tissue culture is labor intensive. It's expensive to set up the facilities to perform tissue culture successfully. Tissue culture can fail due to microbial contamination. All of the cloned offspring are gonna be genetically identical and are therefore susceptible to the same pests or disease. Crops grown in monocultures allow rapid spread of a disease or pest between the closely planted crop plants. And finally, there is no genetic variation except that introduced through mutation.